Skulls not yet apprised, John Schaefer, power metal maestro behind Iced Earth, was among those apprehended in connection with the only riot the media will actually call a riot for the last fucking year, which of course took place at the Capitol building on January 6th. His high crime on a day that featured pre-planned burglaries, larcenies, destruction of property, and finally indiscriminate gunfire into an unarmed crowd by agents of the state you inquire? pointing sternly and yelling, oh, I've got a case of the vapors! As surveillance footage of the day clearly shows, he never once engaged in an act of violence, opened fire, hit anyone, or broke anything. But gang, it's 2021, and sticks and stones are no match for motherfucking words. And if that's the case, you cucks, you might want to strap the fuck into your body armor for this rant, because the FBI threw the fucking book at John Schaefer upon turning himself in, in good faith, to Indiana authorities. Schaefer faces six charges according to the FBI. One, knowingly entering or remaining in any restricted building or grounds. Two, disrupting an orderly conduct of government business. Three, knowingly engaging in an act of physical violence against any person or property in a restricted building. Four, violent entry and disorderly conduct in a Capitol building. Five, engage in an act of physical violence in a Capitol building. And six, Parade, demonstrate, or picket in a Capitol building. The FBI confirmed the news. Putting aside the fact that if he had a BLM logo on his shirt, he'd be fitted for a medal of fucking freedom as we speak. Where's the assault exactly, you status simps? Thanks to CNN. We got more angles on this shit than a Super Bowl touchdown, and ain't one frame of fucking footage that shows Schaefer committing anything more violent than a furious fucking finger waggling. And speaking of fingers... How about the bitch titty Bartolo clone, Stu Block, who when he isn't busy making mediocre album after mediocre album is throwing the man who made him under the tour bus they shared for fucking years. Yes, friends, after an initial refusal to comment, followed by a world-class cucking that condemned the pseudo-riot in a statement to the press, which worked so well they were dropped from their label anyway, lesson learned, never apologize, you pube-faced fucking irrelevancy. Every other band member at long last announced their departure from iced earth. To call this cowardice undersells the sheer strip the paint off the walls pussery on display from a band who sold themselves on tough guy posturing and fist pumping only to bend over the love seat and splay their sandalwood scented ass cracks for CNN and jumping Joe Biden. Go on Stu Block you hipster bearded skull cap cuck wagon. Bite the pillow and whisper the words Come on, man. In the inevitable event I actually do cover Iced Earth in an episode of Metal Mythos, I'll be sure to end it after Ripper Owens leaves the band in 2007, which incidentally is my advice to anyone looking to listen to the band to butt fucking begin with anyway, so it all works out, don't it? And how about that Hansi fucking Kirsch, who after cutting three records with Schaefer as one half of Demons and Wizards, including far and away the best power metal album of 2020, Demons and Wizards 3, after sharing stages with Schaefer for 30 fucking years, after touring the world with the man sitting on a bus or a van smelling each other's feet and fucking farts, he hears one cross-propagandist word from the media and sells him the fuck out! This ain't about politics, you pricks. This is about you taking the media's word about a man you knew for three decades over your own life experience, you soy-suffused, open-shirted, soft-cheese, chomping Euro-trash. The next time I listen to a Blind Guardian tune, it'll be on fucking accident, you baggy-eyed Bavarian Bolshevik. How about you trust your personal experience to define boon friends and companions over time and constrain your political analysis to your own home country of Germany where a day without a grenade attack is like a day without sunshine while Adolf Klitler imports terrorists by the bong load to replace her pussified population, yourself fucking included. Then again, if I had to go through life being a floppy-jowled aging asshat who sells out his fucking friends for clout from a metal media who couldn't draw flies at a fucking urinal, I'd leap in front of an acid attack and pray for reconstructive surgery in the aftermath, too. Oh, sure, I've known this guy longer than my motherfucking wife, but look at that confederate fucking headband! Am I missing something? Yeah, you're damn right you're missing something, Hansi. About 20,000 years of evolution, to be exact. Read me back when you grow an opposable thumb, you fuck. Actually, scratch that. The moment you grow a thumb, we all know where you're gonna stick it anyways. As we all know, whatever flag you wave, 
is what you are. This is why Confederate flags make you racist, white flags make you French, and false flags make you the Capitol Police. I mean, but seriously, gang, we have to remove these things from the public square, along with any context of history that isn't flagrantly fucking Marxist. As we all know, merely catching sight of a flag turns you into whatever it represents. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be palling around with a checkered flag at Daytona so I can turn into a fucking race car. If pointing and yelling at increasingly fascistic police who actively buried the fact that their fallen comrade passed him a fucking stroke three days after the fact just so Biden could boo-hoo over his butt-fucking casket and incriminate his political adversaries? Yeah, what the fuck offense would this represent, comrade? Because it's directed squarely at fucking you, you female murdering fucking penile parasites. Breonna Taylor was asleep when she was killed by you cucks, which gives her something in common with this fucking nation. If only he were the son of a sitting president railing underage girls on camera, the FBI would have turned a blind eye entirely. John Schaefer did nothing wrong. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. Yes, God.